this is Angus Clark from Trans-Siberian Orchestra and Daredevil Squadron. I'm coming at you on a day off while on tour with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. And what I've got here is my 2005 Gibson Flying V um, in the cherry red gloss finish. And I had my tech pull it from the case because we're not using it actively in the show. So I've got it here in the hotel room. And I thought I might just talk a little bit more about the guitar, how I came to own it, and what I like about it. I bought it used from Sam Ash in New York. I have a buddy who works there and he called me up when it came in. I paid about a grand for it. You can get these for anywhere from a grand to 1500 used, which is a really great deal for a really great guitar. It did need some work. Um, I had Patrick Nelson from Patrick's Guitar Repair in Brooklyn put a bone nut on it and he restored the wiring to traditional wiring. Somebody had fidgeted with where the volume knobs are. Traditional is, of course, that's the bridge uh, volume, that's the rhythm volume, and that's the tone control. So we got it put back to rights, and I put a pair of Duncan Distortion pickups in it because they are the closest match to the Gibson pickups that originally came in a guitar like this, which is the 500T and the 490R, ceramic magnets, hot, wound very hot, and um, the Seymour Duncan distortions are ceramic magnets. They're wound hot, but you can get them wax potted and covered, which is very important for the kind of music I play because it's mostly high gain on these guitars. Um, I also had the Tone Pros Cluson tuners. Those are no longer available. They come directly from Cluson now. They're still a great product. Um, it really helped the tuning. This is the original bridge and tail piece. I did not retrofit it with the Tone Pro stuff, which I've done on a lot of my other guitars, because I just like the way the guitar sounds. Um, haven't really done anything too much to the frets, had them ground and polished. I haven't done anything substantial to the guitar other than the, the nut, really. The one thing that I noticed lately was I wasn't getting quite enough kind of low end out of it. It was a very bright sounding guitar. So I'm going through fluctuations on the pickup. And right now I've got a Motor City pickup in here that I'm going to do some sound samples for in the coming days. Uh, this was wound to specs for Jerry Cantrell. Uh, so we're going to try it out. I think it was intended for a Les Paul, so I'm not sure what it's going to do in this guitar. It's a great guitar. Uh, you can look around for them, find them used, and they don't seem to be going up into the stratosphere, the 4K range or whatever the uh, more um, sought after version of the V is. This is still a really quality instrument and you can get a lot of use out of it. And the best thing about this and the other 67 Vs that I've played uh, in the TSO show is that they are super lightweight. And for a two and a half hour show, the more time I could spend playing the Vs, the better it is for my shoulder and my back. So there you go. That's my 2005 Cherry Red Flying V. Thanks very much.